Hi, my name is Jack. I'm a customer support specialist for Doc, and um, today I'm going to show you how to create a calendar overlay between uh, three different calendars. So we're going to have a we have three subsites here. I just created three demo subsites. They're basic templates of team sites, and we're going to have a this one's going to contain a main calendar. I already set up a link to a calendar right here, going to just a main calendar, and then we're going to have uh, we have calendar one that's a subsite I created with a link to go to a separate calendar and we have another subsite called calendar two that I'm gonna make a a quick link to a calendar here so we already have these pages set up so let's just go to here and we're gonna create a calendar web part and then we're going to attach it right here in this web part for quick links so to create let's just go to new right here and we'll go to app so we're gonna create a new app Okay, so now let's just search for calendar. Calendar, right there. Perfect. So let's name this calendar, excuse me, calendar 2. Create. So we just created the app. It should load real fast. Okay, and I see it right here. So now what I want to do is I want to take the link of this calendar. So I'm going to click into it. I'm going to take its link, its URL. I'll close out of that. And let's go back to the subsite home page for calendar 2 alright here we are so let's hit edit and this is in the modern view of SharePoint online so um, okay we have quick links here so let's add a link and we're gonna go to from a link and let's just paste that link on in here okay we open so save everything's fine we're gonna change the name the title of this to calendar 2 sure that sounds good so let's publish the page so now as you can see we have a link that takes you to a calendar then on the second subsite we have a link that takes you to another calendar and then for this main calendar subsite we have another link that takes you to another calendar so we're gonna stay here and we're going to create an overlay. So events from these two, the first two sites, um, if you create events on there, they'll show up on this calendar here. So let's go up at the top, the calendar tab. We'll go to calendars overlay. We're going to add a new calendar. So calendar name, this will be uh, calendar one. So we're going to do the first subsite. We'll just have the color be just do red. That sounds good. Web URL. We don't want it to point at the main calendar. We're gonna use uh, one second. We're gonna use this site here. The first site. So it's the calendar one subsite is the one we're gonna use for the web URL. We're gonna click resolve. Now it should resolve and it's automatically registering that there's um, a list called calendar and the list view you want is the calendar. We're going to do always show and we're going to hit OK. Then so you see the overlay we have here, it's visible in the view. Um, so we're going to create another calendar inside here. Calendar name, we're going to make it calendar 2, similar to the last one. Let's make the color brown. Um, now we're going to take the URL from the home page of the subsite the calendar exists in is what we're doing. So the home page of the subsite the calendar 2 exists in is this subsite right here. We click resolve and it should resolve and automatically populate. If you have multiple lists or calendars um, inside of your subsite you may have to drop this down and select from there but since these are pretty fresh sites there's no other real content for it to um, select from so it's pretty easy that way so we're gonna hit OK <clears throat> perfect so let's hit OK so now you can see here we have a main calendar that's dark blue and we have a calendar 1 that's red and calendar 2 that's brown so let's go to our calendars so that's calendar 1 and we'll click on the link for calendar 2 here Alright, so we have calendar one, calendar two, 
and then we have our main calendar that is the overlay. So what happens if we go to your subsite calendar one, which could be you know a sales department or some other department you want, and you want to add events. So I didn't mean to do that. Let's just start with calendar two. We'll add here. Title test event. Let's just make it. Um, Set it for the 19th. Um, let's set it through the 20th. That should be fine. Category, let's just make it a meeting, sure. Not going to be an all day event, so let's just save this. So, test event. So, I can get out of here. Now, if I refresh the page, it should show test event right there. So, as you can see now, if we're creating events, so calendar one, let's make an event for, let's create one more event real fast. Um, test event two, um, that's fine, we'll just do Christmas Day, meaning holiday, and save. So now we have our two calendars, both that are separate so if you go to say if this is its own department site and you check the calendar you're only gonna see things related to this If you go to this site same thing but if you go to the main calendar page which we created the overlay you will see every event from the calendars that exist in the view and I can create my own um, events within this view of this calendar itself so um, that's the cool thing about calendar overlays. So, and I can also, if I want to, filter. Now I only see calendar one events, and I can filter from here and see calendar two events. And I can create events for this view specifically that won't reflect to these other views. So the beauty of this really is to be able to see multiple events from different types of calendars across the board, from different departments or however you want to do it. Um, and it's a good way of seeing it be organized and to see what events are going on, what they pertain to. So if this name was sales and this was marketing, you'd be, okay, that's a sales event, so that doesn't pertain to me. Or this is a, you know, HR that does pertain to me. So you can kind of just easily see what's going on in your schedule b between these uh, calendar overlays. Um, and that's all for calendar overlays. Thank you for watching.